Hi, welcome back to Daydreams of Quilts on YouTube. Today we are making my tea cozy tutorial. So you're gonna to need to head to the link in the description to my blog to get this free pattern. It's just a free tutorial post on my blog. And just trim it down on the outside of this black line. Plus there's a little trimming at the bottom and a little trimming right here. And you're going to cut out two batting pieces on the fold, two out, outer pieces. And if you have a big focal print like this, that's great for this project. And two lining pieces. And you don't have to quilt them, but um, I think that adds a nice little extra something to the project. So I am gonna quilt mine. I have a walking foot on my machine and I'm just gonna quilt with straight lines. So I'll get this all layered and pinned and then I'll quilt it with straight lines. So I have everything quilted and ready to put together. And so we're going to put this with the lining sides in. We're going to clip all the way around. And then we're going to sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. And we'll have um, our lining to the inside and our outer to the outside. And then we'll be ready to bind this. We're gonna be covering these raw edges with binding. Okay, so I am now going to make some binding and I have a couple of videos on my channel of how to make binding if you're not sure how to do that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so my binding's ready to go. So I'm just gonna go all the way around. I'll leave a little tail here to trim later, but clip everything, clip the binding to the tea cozy. I guess pick which side you think you want to be the front. Mine are both pretty much the same. So um, pin, pin this down to your better side because we're gonna machine sew it to this side and then we'll, we can either hand sew or machine sew to the other side. I think I'm gonna try machine sewing this to see how it works. I did hand sew it in the past, but maybe I can machine sew it.
Okay, so then we're just going to fold this over to the back side of our tea cozy and you can use clips to hold it in place. And then you can either hand bind or machine bind. But I think I'm gonna try machine binding this time. And I do have tutorials videos on my channel for both hand binding and machine binding if you need more detail. Okay, so I'm just gonna stitch in the ditch right here and catch the back. So there's the front and here's the back of our tea cozy. So now I'm just going to trim off these little bits on the end and attach binding all the way around the bottom. Okay, so I've pinned my binding all the way around the bottom edge and I've left a couple of tails here for joining up. I've switched out to my regular presser foot and I'm going to so with um, the presser foot on the inside of the tea cozy with a quarter inch seam and it took about two with the fabric strips for binding to bind this it it didn't even take the whole whole two strips So I'm almost all the way around. I'm just going to join up my ends here on the binding. I'm just uh, clipping the two ends together with a wonder clip right here and then I'm going to unfold them and push the tea cozy out of my way. And just get the the top and bottom edges aligned and I'm going to stitch a straight line down to my wonder clip and it's nice that I have these stripes on my binding because I can follow the stripe okay and then I'll just trim off the excess tails and just finish off sewing my binding down. So now we just need to turn this 
to the inside of our tea cozy to cover up the raw edges on the bottom and clip it in place. And then again, you can either hand sew or machine sew this side down. And I think I'm going to opt for machine sewing again because it seems to be working for me. So, but this time I'm going to sew on the wrong side of the tea cozy. I'm going to sew on the inside like I did to attach the binding so that I can make sure I cover up any um, spots where my lining has pulled away from my batting because I have some bare batting spots. I wanna make sure I get those covered with the binding. That just happened when I quilted it, I think. You might wanna cut your pieces a little bit bigger if you're gonna be doing a lot of quilting on your tea cozy because they will pull a bit in the quilting process. So you might wanna have room to trim your fabrics after you quilt them. Mine doesn't have too much quilting though. Okay, so I'm ready to sew this down. Okay, and our tea cozy is finished, ready to sit over our teapot. Thanks for sewing with me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos from Daydreams of Quilts.